Hi, Mr. Missouri here. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you what happens when you have two sound waves that are close, but not quite the same frequency as each other. So on this first uh, bar over here, it says A with the number 440 printed on it. That tells you that this bar has a uh, frequency of 440 hertz. It means if I vibrate, it vibrates 440 times per second. Sounds like an A. On the other hand, this one over here is 441 hertz. That means that this vibrates 441 times per second, or it makes one more vibration per second than this bar over here. Now this is not an A, it's an A that's ever so slightly sharp. So if I play one at a time, it sounds pretty normal. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. You'll notice that those two sound very similar because their frequencies are almost the same, but they're not quite. If I play both at the same time, the sound waves overlap and make a very interesting pattern. Let me go ahead and do that. What you may be able to hear is that you may be able to hear the sound getting louder and then quieter each second. It goes, whoa, 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 right? What those are, are, are they're called beeps. And the reason why it happens is this. When both of these bars are vibrating together, they, and they both make a compression, the sound waves reinforce each other and make the sound waves stronger. That's called constructive interference. But that only happens when they're in sync. If they, over time, because this violin vibrates faster than the other, eventually they will get out of sync with each other and one of them will make a compression while the other makes a rarefaction. When that happens, the sound waves cancel each other out in what's called destructive interference. That makes the sound quieter because the sound waves are partially canceling each other out. But if you wait another half second, this one gets an entire full vibration ahead of the other and then they're back in sync with each other. And when they're back in sync with each other, they're a 90s boy band. Just kidding. What actually happens is that when they're in sync with each other, they once again constructively interfere with each other and they make uh, the sound extra loud. So when you hear this pattern, what you're hearing is hearing them falling into and out of sync with each other as they alternate between constructive interference and destructive interference. It tells you that just because you have two waves meeting doesn't make it bigger. It only makes it bigger if they're working together, constructive interference. But you can also have two waves working against each other in destructive interference. This allows you to see both or hear both at the same time.